Okay, today I'm going to show you how the quick attach works on the front end of the, my Mahindra 1526. And, uh, you know, for you guys that don't have a quick attach on your uh, front end loader, uh, you don't know what you're missing. Uh, they have add ons where you can can do it. Uh, uh, you know, if the dealer doesn't have something. But uh, I'll kind of try to point some of those out in the comments for some of you guys with smaller tractors that just have the fixed uh, bucket on the front. But anyway, we're going to go over this and just how easy it is to swap. I'm going to swap from the bucket to the forks. So the first thing I'm going to do is these are the two locking arms that lock, uh, drive the lock pins down into the bottom of the quick attach on the bucket. So I'm just going to lift them up like that and that, that retracts the print pins up. Now, I'm going to start the tractor up. And I'm basically just going to lower this to the ground and slightly tilt forward, just slightly. And then start coming back until it comes out of there. As you can see, it came right out of there. And I'm going to go over and line up on the uh, forks. Normally I can do this real quick. Hopefully I can do it that way today, but I can only see out of one eye, so it may not go as quick today, but it's still pretty dang fast. It's faster than driving pins out. The first thing I want to do is kind of get up here. I'm going to line up, and I'm going to take a look out, and I'm going to go ahead and put the creep, and I'm going to line as best I can. Once I've got both of them under, then I'm just going to go ahead and lift it up off the ground. Now it's sitting on there. Back up just a minute here. I'm going to shut the tractor off. Then I'm going to come over here and we'll push the lock pins down. You just see how quick that is. Now I'm over to the forks off the bucket. I mean, it's that quick. If you don't have a quick attach on the front front end loader, you need to get one. So now we're good to go on that. We can go over and do some work. Okay, something else I kind of want to talk about. Uh, Some of you probably know right now I'm having trouble with my right eye, so I can't really see out of it. And so that makes it real hard when I'm looking back here to try to tell with something like the box blade or maybe the brush hog if I've got it on here and what they're doing and how they're doing that kind of stuff. It's really not an issue when I got the backhoe because I actually get over on the backhoe. On my particular tractor, the uh, because it came with the backhoe attachment, uh, the slow moving vehicle sign, which is normally clipped in right here, uh, is mounted up on the uh, rollover protection so that it's visible with the backhoe on it. Um, on the ones that don't cover the backhoe, they got a little thing here flipped down to hold this up. But what I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and do, because it'll be uh, out of the way even with the backhoe on here, is I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, backup camera on this tractor, and I'm looking at which one I want. I'll probably buy one today, uh, get it in next week, and then I'll go. I do a video on the install of it. But what I'm thinking I can do is I can mount that camera right here, and um, that way it'll be out of the way of the uh, uh, seat up here and the backhoe seat when the backhoe goes on. 
uh, and then I can angle it down and actually look at uh, where it's going there. And I've got access to wiring harnesses through here where I can run the wires that I need for it. Uh, on the, uh, I'll take the camera off the tripod. On the front of the tractor, right here I've got a nice little flat spot right there. And uh, I don't know really what it is yet, I'll have to look. Uh, but I got a nice little flat spot right there and those way those uh, backup camera uh, mounts do there like a, a little four finger foot so it looks like it'll fit pretty good right there. I'm going to get a seven inch color display with night vision which uh, I'll come with night vision I don't really care about that but I can mount that right here and then I can turn that screen up there I'll be able to see exactly what's going on back of the tractor without having to look around because like I said, right now, turning around with, uh, with only one eye good, and I've, I've always looked over my right shoulder, and that's the eye that's giving me trouble. So, uh, anyway, that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to put one right in there. And when I do that video, I'm going to put the links to everything, and we'll do the video on installing that and how it works. And uh, like I said, 7-inch color display right there, looking back here. So, you know, it'd be better than looking like that, okay? Because they're, they're a little bit better on looking at close-in areas. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching.